So today, my mum, who's 82, Angela, is going to be taking over the channel and giving it a best shot. Give her a big thumbs up, people. Go on, give her a big thumbs up. We're having breakfast in a minute, I hope, because I'm starving. And then we're off to the Zugspitze. Well, hello there. Where are you going? <laughs> okay. So that's Mum's room. We're over there. Oh, I'll go to see this morning. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, it's morning. <laughs> you have nothing. Well, they're, they're, they're used to having a look at the window to see all these weird uh, humans in the human zoo. What are you going to grab for breakfast? Are you going to go fruit? fruit? Or just going to go for everything? Everything. Let's start with going for everything. Oh, sorry, Mum. So far we're doing pretty good, we've driven for an hour through the mountains, we've been time lapsing the whole way, so you'll be watching that at some point. Um, it's been a right drive hasn't it mum? Yep. We seem to be stuck in a li little bit of traffic. A little bit of traffic. Oh, why is there a man standing there, what's he doing? Is he having a pee? He's not having a pee on the side of the He's road. He's having a pee, and he's having a grateful pee. He's literally Very taking a pee. piss on the side of the road. Well, darling, there's in a queue like this, he's having a pee as well. Oh my god. Because in a queue like this, they've been coming a long way. Now he's got to catch up with his car. <laughs> That's too funny. <coughs> literally no just loo. standing there. And there's no pee. loo. And he's on the phone as well. That is nuts. Oh my god. I just so badly want to toot at him. How can you pee in front of all those people? I couldn't well, do that. You can't see anything. You can only see his back. Uh, and his penis is obviously weenie. <laughs> <laughs> How do you wee with my little penis? <clears throat> Weird. So, Mum, whereabouts are we now? We're now in Austria. Oh. And we're heading to the uh, Zugspitze, which is an Ehren, Ehren, Ehren something. I can't remember now. Where we go up to the on the on the on the lift check that out we are going up there mum's gone to queue for tickets that looks like her there doesn't look like there's a massive queue that is a fun expensive ticket there are tickets 90 euros so the, the 90 euros is 45 euros each that's going up to the mountain and back down again and um, yeah there are no crowds no, no queues it's amazing we can when the next one comes down we'll be straight on first one's on shall see you along right here we go on to the gondola. We're all packed in here like sardines waiting to head up the mountain. My mum is like all the way over there. I don't even know where the hell she's got to. <laughs> but yeah, we're heading all the way up there. It's getting very high. It's a rock climbing trip. I don't know if you can see those people. They're like little ants on that. 
We've got up to the top and it's actually really, really cold. It's freezing. Oh, I've got to get my hair out. It's too cold. Well, that was amazing, was it not? It's very high up here. How high is it? It's uh, nearly 2,000 meters. Uh, which makes a difference to the thinness of the air. Yeah, uh, breathing is certainly different. Different. Yeah. Whew. It's pretty knackering. And so you've got to give it a little time to climb oh. the tires. Breathing. Which one do you want to go to? Okay. Zutarasa. Wow, it's cold. Oh, it's really cold. Whew, it's fresh. Whew. I'm amazed at how out of breath I am. But I think I'm making the excuses that maybe the air is really thin. Because I'm at the top of Everest. Yeah, right. I tell you, that mother of mine, she's a goer. Whew. We made it. To the top. the clouds. That's amazing. That's very high. I'm feeling a bit of a lightweight. I'm feeling a little bit sick. And my mum says that it's... What, what sickness have I got, mum? Hmm? What did you say my sickness was? Because I feel sick? Sickness. Oh, high, high sickness. sickness. I'm high yes, sick. Ooh. God, I'm really puky. Thank you. Right. It took him five and a half hours to walk from the bottom to the top. Very impressive. What's your name? Matthias. Matthias. Look at that bridge, and there's a castle at the top there. It's just so incredible. We've pulled over, because mum thinks she's gonna puke. I thought I was gonna puke earlier, but my pukiness has disappeared. Now mum's got pukiness occurring. Poor mama. I think the altitude sickness, I couldn't remember what the word was before, I think the altitude, altitude sickness, once we came, came down from the Zugspitze, we went into a shop and we... do with some water, actually? We haven't got any. <clears throat> I could drive and get some water. Right. It's 
there are no shops. The wind is good. Yeah. No wonder I was hot. There's a bloody heating in my seat. I couldn't feel it anymore. It was just getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And hotter. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing. Fair. And then I'm laughing at you because you had the heat on your... The, we, in the car, there are these buttons that you can... Like down here, you can put heat on your ass. This is heat on your ass. This is heat on your steering wheel. Um, and we'd put the heat on our bums earlier because it was nice. But then, of course, it's made mum a little bit sick. Anyway, so as we came out of the Zugspitze, we went to a little shop. And when we got into the shop, we decided that we'd get an ice cream. And we both had this watermelon ice cream, which was yuck. Is causing reproductive problems wasn't very good <sighs> I could really do it some more time I I, I I I um oh I've got some coconut water so I thought I'd give my mum coconut water <laughs> it looks like it's not oh dear oh god that's disgusting Yeah, it's not great, this one. Oh. This is a German coconut water. It's not quite what I'm but used to. German, Germans don't grow coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> nope, Germans do not grow coconuts. If you like this particular video, give it the big thumbs up and like it very much because this is quite unique. <laughs> you don't see these things very often. Pity that there are all these clouds, but um, we hope that the sun will burn them off and then you see all the Alps from Switzerland, Austria and Bavaria and it is just about breathtaking.